Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am Karim Bakshabasi, speaking for the students of AD fourth semester. My today's topic is natural approach. Um, I have already spoken uh, on the uh, one approach, uh, which was uh, direct method, and, and today I am speaking about natural approach. Natural approach was first published in 1983 uh, and this theory was given by Stephen Creation and uh, Tracy Carroll. And uh, uh, these two great uh, scholars and researchers said that natural approach is the best approach for teaching English language. Okay, and uh, they said uh, uh, this theory in a curriculum and they told that English language uh, should be taught with natural approach and it will uh, produce a good result for the students. Uh, um, Stephen Christian says that English language cannot be learnt only by repeating the structures uh, uh, or set structures again and again, but English language can be learnt by processing the message. Uh, that message can be in written form, uh, means in the form of reading, or it can be in the form of listening. If you are going to put a lot of comprehensible uh, input for your students, they can easily uh, learn a language. Because when you are giving them opportunity to listen, and when you are giving them, them opportunity to read a textbook, uh, they will uh, process the language, uh, and in this way, they can understand uh, structure and grammar through natural approach. Um, uh, uh, these two writers say that uh, if you put a comprehensible input as much as you can, uh, give them this opportunity as much as you can. Uh, whenever your students uh, sit before you, talk to them uh, so that they have uh, a listening opportunity and give them such material which is uh, of great importance and which is of great interest. If you are going to give them material that is tough one, that is difficult, that is complicated, uh, it is not easy to understand uh, then students will have a problem in understanding language so try to give them a material which is uh, uh, understandable which is easy and which full, uh, which is full of interest uh, and try to create environment for your students to learn a language if uh, you are a students of feel pressure and they feel pain and they are sad and they feel um, boredness uh, and they are anxious uh, then uh, students cannot easily process the language so try to reduce the pressure of learning the language um, when your students are feeling low pressure or no pressure uh, for learning the language at the time of listening or when they read they have not a difficult text it, uh, definitely they will not feel pressure and in this way when they have easy material to listen and when they have easy uh, material to read they can easily reduce the pressure and they can easily diminish the pressure and they can process the language easily. Uh, uh, they can um, understand uh, the greatest chunks of language uh, during listening and reading. Um, uh, uh, Tracy Terrell and uh, Stephen Creation, these two writers have given this theory. They say that uh, English language cannot be learned by learning grammatical rules. That all the time you are going to teach your students grammar uh, and uh, putting tenses before them and they are going to feel tension and they are going to claim all these rules and regulations and when they speak English language they are thinking all those rules and regulations. So they say try not to give grammatical rules all the time. Uh, and uh, uh, if your students are going to spend a lot of time on grammatical rules and they have little opportunity of listening uh, uh, language in the class and they have little opportunity of reading the text, easy text in the class, then there are little chances of their success in learning the language in the class. So uh, they have also rejected uh, all the time teaching grammatical rules in the class by the teacher. They, uh, grammar is necessary. It must be taught, but again I say that uh, it must be taught through listening. Uh, when they listen, they process it, and when they read, they process the message. To it. They try to understand the structure, they try to understand the meaning of text, they try to understand the meaning of listening uh, um, material which, they, which, is, which they are told them by the teacher. 
um, besides this uh, there is also a negative side of uh, uh, this approach uh, natural approach uh, said by Stephen it this approach has been criticized because of its two things major two things uh, uh, Stephen Creation says that whenever you teach your students, you must put material which is beyond their level. So here it is difficult to uh, understand uh, the all the uh, different levels of our students because our students come from different background, they have different proficiency level, they have uh, different abilities. Uh, so uh, one teacher cannot fully understand all the students and their their level that uh, what is, uh, students have different approaches and level so uh, here this approach says that put the material which is beyond their uh, level so teacher it is impossible for the teacher to know all the levels of the students it is impossible for the teacher to know the uh, the abilities and uh, capabilities and capacities students have already acquired uh, so, uh, in this regard, we can't say that this material will be easy for this boy and that material will be difficult for that boy. So, this teacher cannot distinguish uh, the difficulty level for the, uh, his students in the class. So, this was the negative side of uh, natural approach. And uh, uh, other factor which uh, uh, is very difficult to diagnose in the class uh, uh, told by the critics that um, if your students are anxious and if they feel boredness and if they are upset and if they are in pressure then uh, there is a, a, a effective uh, um, filter in the mind which doesn't allow the message to process. Students cannot process the message at that time because of the effective filter. Now uh, he has not given any psychological proof uh, of uh, his uh, this uh, you know point that uh, students uh, whether affective filter uh, exists in our mind or not uh, there is not a psychological background of uh, uh, his theory here that affective filter exists in the mind but he has not given a psychological proof for that so these two points are uh, negative and they have been criticized that a uh, natural approach will be difficult to teach our students um, um, in this approach, uh, Stephen Creation says that you can teach your students uh, natural uh, language through natural approach by total physical response. What is total physical re response means when you are going to give them order, students are going to oblige you. If you say um, uh, pick the pencil, the students are going to pick it from the floor. Or if they put your right hand upon your left hand, those students are doing this. They are going to put the right hand on the left hand. If a student say, if teacher orders them uh, that uh, put the cap on the head, the students put the head on the uh, cap on the head. So uh, students are going to follow the instructions and orders uh, which are given to them by the teacher they are to, uh, they are going to practically do it physically so this is total physical response through which we can teach a natural approach easily second is uh, using pictures for teaching uh, a natural approach means you are going to show them the picture and the students are going to explain uh, that what is there in the picture if students see the picture of doctor and patient they are going to explain the situation if students are going to see the picture uh, uh, of uh, two robbers, they are do they are going to uh, they are having the robbery in the bank. They are going to explain this uh, picture uh, through their language. So they have a lot of opportunity to listen language, uh, to explain language through the pictures. So natural approach can be taught through uh, uh, pictures, uh, providing pictures to in the class by the teacher. The teacher is going to show them pictures, and the students are going to explain those pictures too. You can teach English language by telling them stories and the stories must be full of interest. They uh, must enchant the students. They must create a charm in the class. There must be a fun in those stories. If you are, if the stories are boring, then again students will not uh, take interest in, uh, in uh, lang learning a language. So tell them story, stories that may, they may be religious stories, they may be folk stories, they may be stories of their culture, they may be stories which exist in our environment.
okay so uh, stephen creation says uh, i am repeating uh, the natural uh, approach in five six uh, briefly now that uh, don't teach language by all the time giving them grammar and teaching them grammar or don't ask them to repeat certain structures but give them comprehensible input in the form of listening and in the form of reading and a student process it but your students should not feel pressure they should not be pressurized in the class there must not be any overburden and give them easy text and create environment for them and uh, develop their interest in this way your students can easily learn language through natural approach so this was natural approach hope my students understand that whatever the necessary ingredients of natural approach and uh, I told you that how this approach was criticized that there is effective uh, Uh, fact, uh, filter that hinders uh, uh, in processing the language and um, uh, the second point was uh, that natural approach whenever students feel pressure they don't easily uh, process the language so hope you understand if you have any question send me in written i will respond your questions please uh, subscribe my channel and you will have many more videos on my youtube channel thank you